This one. We gotta start with that biggest one. With his little eyeballs. Yeah. Good morning, guys. I feel like today is a little bit of the hangover after CF clinic day. I just mean like yesterday was exhausting. I think just we processed a lot with her doctor at CF clinic and then um, it was just a longer day than we imagined. And so I think I feel like I'm dragging a little bit, but I just finished the vlog and Mary's gonna hang out with a friend for a little bit this afternoon. Oh, look at the poodle. You are just living your best life. Love it. Oh, well, hi there, hair hair. I just saw this box on the front porch and it's medicine stuff, so I'm gonna open it up and see. But it looks really big, so I don't know what this is. Okay, it's IVIG stuff. I'll just put it on the stairs with all the other medical stuff that needs I'll, to go upstairs. I'll take a load as I go up. Guys, I, I'm gonna go put antibiotic cream on this. Uh, last week when we were setting up for church, I got a cut on my wrist and it's been like not healing. Yeah, I don't it's, know like why. Le it's like legit swollen. I mean, a little bit. I don't think it's infected. I, I mean. I think it's just not healing. I don't know if it's because my shirts rub it. Oh, maybe. Gets irritated. All right, it's IVIG. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. And then the hardest part of unpackaging all the medical stuff is getting rid of the foam cooler thing. I wish there was another way because we do not need all the foam coolers that they send us. But at the end of the day, the medication has to get here and not boil in the sunshine or in the delivery truck. Really? So it is what it is. And I've got plenty of ice packs to share with my friends. Too bad none of my friends want ice packs. You guys, I think it's almost time to try a prickly pear fruit. I need to Google like how to know when the prickly pear fruit is ripe. But before I do that, Harry needs to go in his tent. Here, come here, here, here. Go up in your tent. Oh, your tent is wet. Okay, never mind. His tent must have gotten frost or maybe it rained a little bit. All right. All right, I need to Google about prickly pear fruit. Cause it is, I think they're ready. They're very purple, very purple. How to know when prickly pear fruit is ripe. Dun, 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 dun. Watch their color change from green to a solid red or yellow color. In commercial harvesting, this is the most important indicator. Interesting, okay, this one says yellow, red, or purple. Ours are purple. And when can you pick it? Most of the fruit is right by mid-August. It's, Octo it's late October. Don't pick any that have green ends. They should be full ruby color. Twist them off. They should pop off immediately and dribble a little juice. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick at least the one that looks the most ripe. And I probably need to wear some sort of gloves because of the prickles. I wanna come for the party. 
Harry just came outside, so I need to remember that. Okay, I'll watch it. This is exciting. It's a momentous, momentous occasion. Is there still any green? Or do you, do you think they're ready? I think they're ready. This one. We gotta start with that biggest one. Yeah. With his little eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, is it not coming off? I'm thinking maybe it wasn't ready. Really? Well, I guess we can let it ripen more. Yeah. Maybe it was. I don't know. It feels soft. Does it? Yeah. I mean, somewhat. Should we just cut it open and see? Yeah. I mean, let's let's take this little guy inside. Did you show them the nose? No, but we need to document. He has a nose. Yeah. Oh wait, we gotta we gotta get. It's him. cute. Okay. Harry. Harry, let's go inside, buddy. Oh, here he is. Come here, baby. Come on. We're gonna try the prickly pear. We. We've never tried prickly pear fruit. Okay, let's turn the lights on. Okay, I'm going to rinse it and remove the eyeballs. Look, it left a suntan of where the eyeballs were. It looks like it's going, ah! So how do you eat these? I don't know, can you Google that? Yeah. How to eat, I can't believe you, you like a cactus grows fruit. I, I think until we had prickly pears, I didn't even realize that. No, me neither. Okay. I guess it's a pear, prickly to, pear. Oh yeah, how to, <laughs> that makes sense. How to eat prickly pear. Begin to peel back the fleshy skin that's wrapped around the prickly pear. Discard the skin, you'll be wet, left with the prickly pear itself. The flesh is... Oh yeah, it's totally not ripe. Oh man. I'm so confused. It's totally purple. Flesh is studded with tons of little edible seeds. If you like them, feel free to just chop the prickly pear up and eat seeds and all. We can try it. Okay, maybe, well, not nah, probably. I mean, they sh this picture is showing, does it look at all like that? The outside does. The, so here's the picture I'm seeing of them like cut open, which the out, yeah, the, it looks like the outside. Of does it say what it's supposed to taste like? Because that could be a whole nother topic. Okay, what does this feel like? Oh, a little like a kiwi. That's what it seems like. Okay. They said if you cook it, it's slimy like an okra. Okay, so. Oh, wowzy wowza. Oh. That's a lot of seeds in there. So I think like in the pictures, the seed part is a whole thing. That's strange. I'm just gonna taste it. Okay, wait for me. Okay. This is crazy. I can't believe our prickly pear grew this for us. This okay. was discarded prickly pear. Mm. Hard, this, hard seeds. Very hard. Tart? Mm -hmm. My mouth is watering like a uh, Sour Patch Kid. It does taste like an underripe kiwi. Mm. Really good. I don't know. I mean, I think it's not ripe, so yeah. it's really we're not going to judge it from this. The seeds are hard. Okay, if I eat the outside, not the seed part, it's really interesting. But I would, I would really compare it to an unripe kiwi. Yeah, probably feels like it's going to give my tongue a like sore. Yeah, it's very like tart. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. So we'll leave the other ones out there to ripen more. Yeah. And then we'll have to see what happens. Back from running out for Mary to hang out with a friend and I saw in the car, I have some light bulbs for our back tag light. Um, apparently both of our lights are out. I found it out when I took the car in to get an oil change last time. I was like, I can, I can change those, but I think these are bulbs 
that you have to use gloves, like your, your oils from your hands. I don't know what it does to the bulbs, but I'm supposed to use gloves, but thankfully, this is a perk of having a ton of medical stuff and like medical deliveries. I can go up to Mary's medical closet and get some gloves. One of the many perks of having medical supplies around. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. We've got light! <laughs> Mary just said to me, so if we had, if there was a car that the engine didn't work, we have a tow hitch. We could like tow that car. I don't know where, in what context this is coming from, but I just, I'm trying to explain to her how that doesn't work unless you have a trailer. Because... But I'm like, just put the wheel, the, the tires, whatever, the wheels in neutral. And then like hook, rig up like a chain or something. Okay, so if you connect it by like a chain, yeah. all right? So we need a chain, we need <laughs> a chain. Wouldn't it be like going like this? Well, what would happen is, what would happen is you turn. Uh-huh. And. It would have to follow you. But like its wheels want to go forward. So then you'd be dragging it oh, like this. Oh no. <laughs> These little cars came in handy for that little <laughs> illustration. That is. <laughs> oh man. That's hilarious. I was telling them this morning, like, it, I feel like the day after the hospital is kind of a hangover day. <laughs> We're just kind of yeah. dragging a little bit. Yeah. So, I think we'll wrap it up here and say, as always, guys. Thanks for coming with us. And. As always. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Ollie. You're the cutest. Yeah.